back in the 70s, we had this old psychiatrist, quack psychiatrist there in the Six Mile Creek. Now, I kind of think all psychiatrists are quacks, but anyway, this old quack psychiatrist was there, and he had this therapy. He thought he could cure anybody by just giving them too much of whatever it was they were addicted to if they were addicted to something. So all on the same day, he had these three guys showed up, and the first guy was an alcoholic, and the old he was addicted to beer, and the old psychiatrist took that guy and he locked him in a room with all the beer he could possibly want to drink for three days. I mean, more than anybody could ever drink in three days. And he says, when you come out, you'll be cured. And so he locked the door. Then the old the next guy that showed up was this guy who was addicted to sex. Now, the psychiatrist thought about it for a minute and he made a couple of phone calls and pretty soon he locked this guy all up in a room with 10 nymphomaniac prostitutes. And uh, he says, you just do what you, whatever you want to do. He says, these girls are going to be willing to do anything. He says, you got to stay in there for three days, though. And so he locked the guy in a room with these three or with these uh, 10 nymphomaniac prostitutes and you know, just locked him in there. And the third guy that showed up that same day was this old pothead. Now, this old pothead, he says, I'm addicted to pot. He says, I just can't stop smoking it. And the doctor says, well, I think I can take care of that. And he took him and he locked him up in a room full of pot and rolling papers. And he says, he says, there ain't no way you can ever smoke this much pot in three days. He says, you Go on in there and, you know, after three days, you'll be cured. So he locks the guy in the room. Three days later, he opens up the door on the old alcoholic, the guy addicted to beer. And the guy, he says, how did it go? The guy that was addicted to beer, he said, you know, he says that first day it was pretty good. He says the second day I was sick as a dog. And yesterday I thought I was going to die. I was so sick. He says, I ain't never touching another lick of alcohol the rest of my life. The doctor said, you're cured. So then he opens up the door of the guy who was addicted to sex. He says, how did it go? The guy says, man, the first day, he says, it was great. He says, the second day, he says, man, I was plumb wore out. But he says, but I was still kind of liking it. He says, but yesterday it got so bad. He says, it felt like my, my dick got so messed up it felt like it was going to fall off <laughs> and the psychiatrist he says so i ain't never i don't i ain't going to be like this anymore i ain't going to be addicted to sex no more he says in fact i might not have sex for a year and the psychiatrist says well you're cured so then the psychiatrist goes over to the third door where the old pothead was he opens the door as soon as he opened the door the pothead just hauls off knocks him right in the face right in the nose with his fist and the doctor goes the psychiatrist goes what'd you do that for and the pothead says you locked me in there with all that pot and you didn't give me a lighter you bastard <laughs> my name's homer not from six mile creek in tampa florida if you like my jokes and stories click like and subscribe and uh also pick uh, click on that notify button so you'll get an a notification every time I post a new story. And for you, Norm, uh, all you watchers that see me all the time, this tape on my ears that you see here, I had surgery uh, yesterday on both ears. It's from being in the sun in Florida and sick for 65 years straight. So if you uh, stay out in the sun a lot, don't make the same mistake as me. Make sure you put on your sunscreen. Until next time, this is Homer Not. Out.